Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, <clears throat> so today I filmed a little sultry, I don't know if I'm saying that right, sultry, edgy type of um, look for you guys. Um, forgive me for my sniffles. I am a bit sick right now, so my voice sounds a little off and my nose is like super clogged and congested. So I'm just doing the best I can to... Um, not like cough or sneeze um but yeah um so i'm just gonna go ahead and show you the products that i used again my sorry for the glare um i don't know for some reason my phone like can get more storage than my ipad i'm not even i don't know why but that's just the way it is um um and i still have not gotten a phone and it's super cracked so therefore that explains the gear the the gear the glare that's right there um so i'm just gonna go ahead and tell you the products that i used i used this uh brow seven palette um and basically i just used the darkest color that's in here which is this one here i'm not sure what the name of it is but it's this one here um i used that palette for my eyebrows for my eyes i actually use the melt cosmetics rust stack which is this one here and I use this pretty often I, I usually like it for the crease um, I use it for like almost every look that I do just because I really like the colors in here and I really like the brown and I love the texture of it and I love the way it blends I haven't used any of their other stacks before so I mean I'm not really sure about those but I'm pretty sure they're the same you know it's the same company so I'm sure it's like the bomb.com just like this one is um so for my highlight for my brow bone i use the um classic color which is this one here right on top um and it's this color here so it's just like a white very pretty color um and then for my actual eyeshadow um i use the i used about two different colors two or three different colors um I use the rust color <clears throat> and so it's just a little darker and then I use of course I have to use rubbish which I always use this color so it's like a mustardy color I love this color and I use those two colors actually in the bottom of my um, eye right in the bottom or uh, my lid 
I used two different colors. I used my Morphe palette in 35B, which is this one here. And I used these two colors down here. So I used like a little red and orange and I mixed them both and I just went ahead and put it on my lid and then I blended it all together so it could blend in with the um, rust and the rubbish. Um, so in the corner of my eyes, um, I used the So Soft, or what is it called? So Gentle? I don't know, it's kind of rubbed off at the back already. But it's by MAC. Soft and Gentle, I think it's called. Um, so I just used this, it's pretty grimy, in the corners of my eyes. For my eyelashes, I used the Lashes in a Box. Um... Once again, um, these are actually number 17. I don't think I said what number, what number they were on my last video. Did I even use these in my last video? I don't remember. But, um, so there are these here. So I used these because I didn't want, I don't think I did use them in my last video. Because um, the number 17s are not that thick. They're a little wispy in a way. So I wanted a more natural eyelash this time. Um, so I use these instead of the Miss Adora lashes, which are thicker. I almost forgot. I used another, um, color on my lid as well, which this color I love. I've actually had it for a few years. Um, this, I think I got it when I first started getting into makeup a few years ago. I don't know. I don't remember. But it's from Milani Cosmetics. Um, and this is the number four and it's called Flare. So it's just like this. And I don't know if you can see it on my eyes. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but I'm using this. And it has a little glitter. It's like a little orangey reddish tone, like a chrome color. And I um, I did it. I probably should have sprayed the MAC, uh, the MAC uh, Fix Plus spray just to make it a little bit more bolder. But I was too lazy to go get it. So, And then my son was sleeping, so I just was like whatever let's just put this on and so i mean it's okay primer same thing nyx uh primer spray i've been using this for a few weeks now or month i should say and i really actually like it i mean my makeup does stay it's not too bad i think it's also a matter of your moisturizer that you that you're using if your face gets oily or not or just the way you know your face is if it's oily dry whatever obviously if your face is oily you use the wrong moisturizer and then you use this and it doesn't work for you you might be using the wrong moisturizer so there's that for concealers i use the makeup forever full coverage foundation underneath my eyes just to brighten up my eyes and then i use the mac pro long concealer to contour to contour of course i use the Too faced um cosmetics um, chocolate solio bronzer I can't even breathe. Um, I use the bronzer, of course. I always use this bronzer. And for blush, I actually used... I don't know if this is considered a blush, actually. I feel like it's more of a bronzer. Uh, I don't know. It might be a blush. I'm not sure. This is the Dallas Benefit bronzer. Um, or blush. I don't know. But I use it as a blush. Um, so it comes with like a little brush itself. I didn't use this one because I used it as a blush. So I use my MAC blush brush. So it's this type of color. It's like a little brown with a little bit of pink inside. So I use that. Eyelashes, you guys know this is my favorite right here. It's the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. Yes, 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 yes. I just really like the actual brush of it and it does its job look at the lower lashes it's really beautiful for the for the lower lashes um, for setting powder always low mercy a I have not gotten the what is it called or spun I am just a mess right now I have not gotten the air spun yet to use it um, so using this until I have no more and then for my lips I used the essence lip liner in the color nude 
I think the other one I spoke about was Mauve. This one's the nude, and I really like it. And and then we have the Gerard Cosmetics. It looks like a little bullet, or like a big ass bullet. Um, but this is a Gerard Cosmetics um, lipstick. This is the color Underground, and it's kind of like a grayish nude brown tone it's like a nude with a gray undertone so it's this one here um i wasn't sure if i should get like a if i should do like a vampy lip color but i was like i i want my eyes to like pop you know so i just use the underground dry cosmetics which honestly dry cosmetics like they're really affordable they're not expensive i mean i don't think they're expensive at all so i forgot the highlight that I actually have on which I really like and it cost me like three bucks um, it is the essence pure nude highlighter I mean I don't know if you can see it or not but this is wonderful like I think this is my second day using it but oh my god look at that like it's so pretty and it's not like dusty or muddy like just makes it so pretty and so like easy to work with i i really like it i think i got an elf highlighter as well and i didn't like it so much i don't know if i just wasn't feeling it that day i don't know but i didn't really like it but the essence highlighter picked this baby up because it's really good i really like it so that's all I use for today's look, you guys. Um, if you guys have any, have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, and if I forgot anything, you know, let me know. Um, you guys can also follow me at my Instagram, Sandra7M. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry for my, you know, crappy, congested self um, right now. It's like, I hope I can get better by like next week so I can make another video with like minus the snot you know inside my my nose right now so um you guys go ahead and like and subscribe and go ahead and follow me on instagram um and yeah i will see you guys next week thanks for watching bye